If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can add buttons to pages in a PDF document in Acrobat. Buttons in Acrobat behave like links in that a person viewing a PDF can click a button to perform an action. However, buttons have more settings than links, and you can also configure buttons in Acrobat to perform actions in response to many different action event triggers other than the traditional click event. Buttons in Acrobat perform many of the same actions as links, like opening a file or going to a different page in the PDF. To add a button to a PDF page in Acrobat, either click the Edit a PDF link in the All Tools panel, or click the Edit link in the top bar to show the Edit panel at the left side of the screen. If needed to expand the list and show all the content choices, click the More link under the Add Content section in the Edit panel. Then click the Button Choice in the Edit panel. Then hover your mouse pointer icon, which looks like a blue rectangle, over the location in the PDF page at which to add the button, and click to add a button to the desired location in the PDF page. The button then appears in the page surrounded by a blue bounding box. Additionally, the field name button tag also appears and shows the button's default name. To rename the button, type a name for the button into the field in this tag, which you can later use to refer to the button in other coding if needed. This sets the button's name, which is one of the many button properties you can change in Acrobat. To view all the button's properties if needed, you can also click the All Properties link in this field name tag to open the Button Properties dialog box. The Button Properties dialog box contains many tabs of button settings. To close this dialog box, click the Close button within it. To resize a button in the PDF in Acrobat, click and drag its resizing handles on the button's bounding box to set its desired size. After initially adding a button and resizing it, or if you open the Button Properties dialog box from the Field Name tag, notice the Field Name tag then disappears. To open the Button Properties dialog box to set the button's properties, double-click the button. The General tab of the Button Properties dialog box contains the button's general settings. To name the button if you didn't name it when you created it in Acrobat, Type the button's name into the Name field on this tab. To add a tooltip to the button in Acrobat, which is a message that appears when a user hovers over this button in the PDF page, type the tooltip text into the tooltip field. To set the button's visibility and printability in the PDF in Acrobat, Select the desired choice from the Form Field drop-down in the Common Properties section of this tab. To set the orientation of the button in the PDF form, select a choice from the Orientation drop-down in this same section. To set the button's visual properties, click the Appearance tab in the Button Properties dialog box. To apply a border color or fill color to the button in Acrobat, Click the Border Color or Fill Color color boxes in the Borders and Color section of this tab respectively, and then select a color from the drop-down menu. If you select a border color, then use the Line Thickness drop-down to choose a border thickness, and the Line Style drop-down to choose a border style. If the button includes text, to set the font size, color, and style, Click the Font Size drop-down, the Text Color box, and the Font drop-down in the Text section respectively, and select the desired choices from the drop-down menus that appear. To set position and size properties for a button in Acrobat, click the Position tab in the Button Properties dialog box. 
To set the units of measurement for the button's positioning and sizing properties, select a choice from the Units dropdown. To set the button's position in the PDF, then enter values into the left, right, bottom, and top fields. To specify its size, enter values into the width and height fields. To fix the button's size, if you enter values that reposition the button in the PDF page, check the Do Not Change Height and Width when changing the Position checkbox. To set the button's layout, text, and icon properties, click the Options tab in the Button Properties dialog box. To select a layout for the button's text label and icon, select a choice from the Layout dropdown. To set the icon's placement in the button, if you select any icon-related layout choice from the Layout dropdown, click the Adjacent Advanced button to open the Icon Placement dialog box, which lets you set the scaling and positioning properties of the icon in the button. To choose when to scale the icon in the button, select a choice from the When to Scale dropdown. To select a scaling method to use if needed, use the Scale dropdown. To fit the scaling to the boundary shown, check the Fit to Bounds checkbox. Finally, use the sliders to set the position of the icon within the button. When finished, click the OK button. To set the button's animation behavior when a user clicks it, select a choice from the Behavior dropdown. The label and icon settings for the selected button animation's states then appear within the Icon and Label section. To edit the label or icon for a selected animation state, click to select a state in the state list. Then, enter the label to apply to that button state into the Label field. To change the selected state's icon, click the adjacent Choose Icon button to open a Select Image dialog box. Then, click the Browse button in this dialog box to navigate to and select the icon file to use. Note that you may need to use the Format dropdown in the lower right corner of this dialog box to display the file format of your button's icon. After selecting it, then click the Open button to return to the Select Image dialog box, where you can click the OK button to add that icon to the selected button's state. If needed, then repeat the process of selecting a state and setting the icon and label for each if you selected the Push Choice from the Behavior dropdown. To set the button's actions, click the Actions tab. To choose the interactive event that makes the associated action happen, select a choice from the Select Trigger dropdown. The Mouse Up event is often used to associate an action with the release of a mouse button after a user clicks the button. Mouse Down is also used for that same purpose but is triggered by the downward clicking of the mouse button versus the release of the button. You can associate actions with a user rolling over the button by choosing the Mouse Enter and Mouse Exit events. You can choose the On Focus or on blur events to associate an action with the event of gaining or losing the focus of the application. After choosing the triggering event, then use the Select Action drop-down menu to choose the action that occurs when that event is triggered. You can attach the same actions to buttons that you can attach to links. To add an action to a button, select an action from the Select Action drop-down in the Add an Action section and click the Add button. Depending on the action selected, an additional dialog box opens and prompts you to specify the action's additional settings. Enter any required information and click the OK button. The action then appears in the Actions section in the Button Properties dialog box. 
to reorder the list of actions if programming multiple actions to a button event, select an action in this list, and then click the up and down buttons. To edit a selected action, click the edit button. To delete a selected action, click the delete button. After setting all the desired button properties in Acrobat, click the close button at the bottom of the button properties dialog box. To test the button, click the X button in the upper right corner of the edit panel to close it. Then click the button. The button should execute its assigned action. Depending on your action settings, however, you may also see additional information or warning message boxes appear. To edit a button added to a PDF in Acrobat, click the Edit button in the top bar, and then click the Prepare a Form link to show the Prepare a Form panel at the left side of the screen. Then, double-click a button to reopen its Button Properties dialog box. Then, click the Desired tab and change the button settings as needed. Then click the close button when finished. Then test the button again if needed. To delete a button in the prepare a form view, click it to select it. Then press the delete key on your keyboard. To exit the prepare a form view, click the X button in the upper right corner of the prepare a form panel. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.